welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. If you are new, my name is Jordan and I am so happy to have you here today. As you have already seen by the title and the excessive amount of makeup on my face, today's video is a holiday glam transformation. So I'm going to be showing you the process of doing my makeup, my hair, and my nails. And I'm so excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Majosi. Majosi is a beauty brand that offers press-on nails as well as lashes. They are coming out with a collection of eyeshadow and lipstick very soon. And my two favorite things to note are that it is a cruelty-free brand as well as a very affordable brand. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I'm obsessed with false eyelashes, especially because I am a showgirl. And they did send me the pair of lashes I'm wearing as well as my nails. So if they look like they were done in a salon, these are press-ons. And I'm obsessed. I've never used press-ons before, so I was a little bit iffy on how they would be. But honestly, they are incredible. And they literally look like I went to the salon, but I just did them in a matter of like five minutes and I cannot rave enough about these lashes like these are the real deal man they're so comfortable and lightweight and I don't even feel like I'm wearing lashes right now but they look absolutely stunning I'm obsessed and it comes in the cutest little box too their packaging is like a baby pink and then when you open the lashes it does come with a sparkly case which is the cutest thing ever like that is so on brand for me if you were not already make sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content from me I am participating in vlogmas the entire month of December so you don't want to miss out I also have a holiday giveaway going on right now it is open until December 18th so go enter that if you want and without further ado let's get on into it my hair is still drying hence why it looks like a frizzy mess you've definitely picked up on that so we're gonna get back to that but I wanted to start with the makeup so first things first let's just put a little headband in the first step to any makeup look is priming your face so I'm just using the bare minerals blemish rescue skin clearing anti redness mattifying primer that is the longest title I think I've ever heard, but um, basically it's green, so it'll even out my skin tone because as you can see there's some redness. So I'm just mixing it in with my hands, I'm just massaging it into my skin. Priming of course not only helps with the application of makeup, but it also makes your makeup last longer. Um, and look fresher longer throughout the day. Since I do not currently have a foundation that matches my skin tone, I have my summer foundation. I'm just gonna skip that step altogether and we're gonna move on to concealer. So I will be using the concealer more as a foundation, if you will, and apply it all over my face and then I'm definitely going to concentrate it more on the areas that need brightening or covering, such as my under eyes, my nose, redness, and any like blemishes I have. I just wet my beauty blender, but you can also apply with a dry beauty blender. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So just crank this bad boy. I'm also going to apply it over my eyelids. I almost use it to help prime my eyelids. I'm basically just drawing all over my face. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I look like a maniac, so we're going to just blend this in. Make sure to also bring it down so you don't have a harsh line. I'm just going to use my fingers under my nose because that is the reddest part of my face. Next I'm going to be bronzing my face and I'm just using the e.l.f. Forever Sun Kissed Bronzer and I've used this for ages but if it ain't broke don't fix it, you know? I'm also using my janky brush which this I definitely need to replace and just quite lazy about it. To set my concealer and bronzer, I'm just using the Rimmel London Lightweight Powder. It is a pressed powder, not a loose powder. I am still quite lost on loose powder, so if anyone has tips like for beginners for baking, let me know below since I have absolutely no clue. Really targeting my T-zone my chin and under my eyes so basically the places that I get the most oily and then of course my concealer under my eyes. 
Yeah, is that good? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Moving on to blush, I'm just gonna be using this tester size blush from NARS. It is the NARS Orgasm X blush. It is so incredibly pigmented, like as you can see, it is quite bright, but I just think this color is gorgeous and I definitely prefer it over the typical like baby pink colored blush. Since I do want to use a bold red lip for this look, I'm going to keep the eyes pretty neutral. So I'm going to just do like browns and whatnot and maybe add a pop of sparkle, either silver or gold. We'll get there when we get there. I haven't decided yet. For the base coat of my eyelids, I'm just going to be using the Naked palette. This is the original Naked palette and I'm going to use the shade Naked. So it's the third color right here and I'm just going to use my fingertip to apply this all over my lid. Now that the base is done, I'm just going to go in with this basic eyeshadow brush and also my Naked Heat palette and I'm going to use the color Sauce as well as Low Blow just to start adding some dimension to my creases. So I'm going to go from the outside slightly in but I'm not going to go too heavy on it. Now I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Studio Pro palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here and also add that to my crease a little bit darker than the previous step. I'm just going to smudge out the ends a little with my finger like this just so it's not as harsh. I know this isn't like a makeup guru step, but it's just what I'm doing. We're gonna move back to the original Naked palette and I'm gonna take Dark Horse right here with an angled eyeshadow brush like I have. And then I'm just going to apply this almost in an eyeliner motion. So it's just going to be on the outer corner, almost lining up from the lash line out. I don't know if I explained that properly, but you could kind of see what I was doing. And then to add a little something to this look, I'm going to use my ring finger and I'm just going to apply Sidecar from the original Naked palette all over my eyelid. This stuff is super pigmented too, so have at it. Alrighty, we're making progress. So now I'm going to go in with a larger fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it together so that it looks more seamless. I don't have any eyeshadow on this brush. Just like this. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner. It is waterproof and I'm just going to try to make a very subtle wing, but again, I'm awful at eyeliner, so just, just let me live. Eventually. Eyeliner is done, needs improvement, but it's fine, it'll do. Um, and I totally forgot a step, so we're going to just backtrack a little bit and pretend that didn't happen, and I'm just going to put a little bit of highlighter on. So I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. On the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow a little bit. Just a little, nothing too over the top. Um, we're going to move on to eyebrows, so now I'm just going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the color chocolate. I used to use a darker color before and realized it was way too dark for me. So we have lightened up a little bit and I think it looks better. Okie dokie, we're just going to use this little spoolie and brush them out a little bit so they blend better, but I really don't apply too much product to my eyebrows because they are decently full. 
Alrighty, okay, they look pretty good. And now on to my favorite part of any glam look, lashes. So today I'm gonna be applying these Majosi lashes. These are just what they look like. They are the Angel Falsies and I am so excited. These are so gorgeous. I'm just going to trim them down so that they can fit my eye and apply them. Um, hello. These are absolutely stunning. I have not put lashes on in a hot minute. So, wow. It's a lot to take in, but I'm obsessed. These are definitely more glam, but they do also offer like more natural looking lashes, but I like to go full out. You know, if you're doing it, you might as well do it right. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to add some bold red lips, of course. So I'm just using the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Monte Carlo. I'm going to seal this all in with the NYX matte finish setting spray. Love this stuff. We love a matte look. Here is the finished look. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Would be perfect for New Year's, Christmas, whatever your heart desires. I'm just extremely extra, so I would even wear this to a fancy dinner if restaurants were open in New York State, but um, yeah. Now let's move on to hair, because this is, this is not working for me. I have relocated to the bathroom. I took off my robe because I was sweating. And I totally skipped a step. Um, I'm gonna just go in with my mascara and kind of blend my falsies with my regular lashes and then add a little to my bottom lash line as well to balance it out. That's a bit better. So now we need to do something about my hair because this is atrocious. It's so fluffy and frizzy from my shower. So I'm just going to like half go over it with my straightener just kind of half ass because I'm gonna end up doing like a half up half down look so that's what we're gonna do again this isn't gonna be perfect I'm not doing it like section to section I'm just going over it quickly I'm gonna add some argan oil to Whoops, there goes the cap to help with the the frizz. A little goes a long way with the argan oil, so I'd like to spray it in my hands and just run my hands through my hair and then I can obviously, you know, do another spray if I want. It just adds like a little bit of shine to my hair. Alrighty, and then I'm just going to take a section from each side of my part and Split it in half, like so, and just twist them around each other, like so. You see that? I'm gonna take a small elastic and just tie the bottom. Why is it sticking out like that? Okay, and then do the same for the other side. We got our two little pippy long stock pieces. We're gonna take these pieces, bring them around to the back, and just attach them together. And there you have it, super simple. Um, obviously you can do more or less hair, or you can make the twist from the top of your head down, like a French twist, and then keep it going. Um, but yeah. To finish off this glam routine, I'm going to be applying some press-on nails, which I've actually never worn press-on nails before in my life, but my friend Jess raves about them. So I have these ones from Majosi, and they are like a wine color and silver. And yeah, we're gonna be trying these out. I'm gonna show you how to apply them, and yeah. Here are all the nails. They give you a bunch of different sizes, which is really, really nice. You have a lot of options.
That worked really well. I'm gonna file them down a little bit, but I'm impressed. that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed glowing up with me and kind of going through my process for whenever like a special occasion or holiday comes up. I think this look would be gorgeous for the entire holiday season, especially New Year's. So if you see me wearing this for New Year's, mind your business, you already saw it coming. <laughs> Thank you again to Majosi for sponsoring today's video. I am over the moon excited about these products and I definitely will be placing more orders soon, especially for these lashes. Like, are we kidding? I also do have a coupon code for you guys if you are interested in checking them out. I will have it in the description for you and have at it, honestly. Seriously, you guys know I won't promote a product if I don't believe in it and I truly love these lashes and these press-on nails and press-on nails have never been my thing, so now they are. <laughs> I love you to the moon and back and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!